first time. I went to a, I went to a pizzeria. I ordered a slice of pizza. The dude gave me the smallest slice possible. If the pizza was a pie chart for what people would do if they found a million dollars, this dude gave me the donated to charity slice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's terrible, bro. And I'm pretty sure that's a pretty tiny slice there, man. Y'all be shaming yourself. <laughs> everybody man welcome back to wild with marcus you already know what time it is man i've been entirely too long since i kicked it with you and all the way you can say that with your boy just that's because you're new i can look at you and slightly tell that you're new i can almost tell that, that guy's new smack the subscribe button hit the bell make sure you select all so you keep up with all my latest videos and let me get official welcome to the family man. it's a pleasure to have you it really is <laughs> i don't just say that out i'm just saying it it is a pleasure to have you now get to know me leave me something in the bottom what i got for y'all today this is more subscriber request content that's because my family is amazing this right here is mitch Hedberg on the late show, 312 2003. Okay, now Mitch is no longer with us, but I love Mitch. Okay, so ain't gonna be my first time watching Mitch, it's just gonna be my first time watching him on this show. So let's get into it, man. Rest in paradise to one of the greats, man. Guy had tremendous stage fright, but he always pushed through it, and it always made his act just that much more funnier. So, in my opinion, let's get into it. Funny gentleman, and he will be appearing March 27th through March 29th at the Punchline Comedy Club in San Francisco. Please welcome back to the Late Show, Mitch Hedberg. That's the job, man. All right, all right, all right. This suit is held together with safety pins, so I can't move very much. <laughs> it will, it will fall apart. I was gonna have my teeth whitened, but then I said, screw that, I'll just get a tan instead. <laughs> Smart. You know what, man? I'm sick of following my dreams. I'm just gonna ask where they're going and hook up with them later. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you're the one lot of king. <laughs> I, got a nice, I got a nice hotel, you know. I, I love hotels. I met the girl who works at the front desk of my hotel. She gave me her phone number. It's zero. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you're the front girl, you know. What? Another story? Okay, let's go. I tried to call her from here. Some other woman answered. <laughs> I said, you sound older. <laughs> I, got, I got a lot of vending machines. I like it when you reach into the vending machine to grab your candy bar. That flap goes up to block you from reaching up. That's a great invention, man. <laughs> Before that, it was hard times for the vending machine owner. <laughs> what candy bar are you getting? That one, and every one on the bottom row. <laughs> I get the Reese's candy bar, you know. Reese's, if you read that name, Reese's, that's an apostrophe S on there. The candy bar is his, man. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> he showed ownership. <laughs> Next time you're in the Reese's candy bar and a guy named Reese comes by and says, let me have it, you better hand it over. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Reese. I didn't think I would ever run into you. <laughs> You are a bully, man. He's got funny, man. I like rice. Rice is great when you're hungry and you want 2,000 of something. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I heard him say that before. I heard him say that before. That's true, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My mom loves those applause breaks. <laughs> <laughs> refried beans. I like refried beans. That's why I want to try fried beans, because maybe they're just as good and we're, we're wasting time. <laughs> The first time. I went to a, I went to a pizzeria. I ordered a slice of pizza. The dude gave me the smallest slice possible. If the pizza was a pie chart for what people would do if they found a million dollars, this dude gave me the donated to charity slice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's terrible, bro. And I'm pretty sure that's a pretty tiny slice there, man. Y'all be shaming yourself, Belega. I would like to exchange this <laughs> for the keep it. <laughs> I tried to walk into Target, but I missed. <laughs> I think the entrance to Target should have people splattered all around. <laughs> I was walking by a dry cleaner at 3 a.m. and the sign said, Sorry, we're closed. You don't have to be sorry. It's 3 a.m. and you're a dry cleaner. <laughs> it would be ridiculous for me to expect you to be open. <laughs> I'm not gonna walk in at 10 and say, hey man, I walked by at 3, you guys were closed. Somebody owes me an apology. <laughs> Some people will, Mitch. Some people will. <laughs> 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 I 
Love him, man. <laughs> you guys did that for my mom. <laughs> Shout out to mom. I'm working at a lot of colleges lately. You know, I perform at the college, and I always buy the shirt from the college because they're quality shirts and they're colorful. But people get the wrong idea. You know, I walk around with a Washington University shirt on. Someone goes, hey, Washington U, did you go there? Yeah. It was a Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, every book is a children's book if the kid can read. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. No, we know. Hey, man. <laughs> if you're watching, watching the parade, make sure you stand in one spot. Don't follow it. It never changes. <laughs> and if you don't like the parade, run in the opposite direction. You will fast forward the parade. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, though. <laughs> Talk, but it did not say I'm hungry, so it died. Oh, wow. <laughs> he was expecting it to say something. <laughs> I like sandwiches, but I, you know, I hate sandwiches at New York delis. It's too much meat on the sandwich. It's like a cow with a cracker on either side. <laughs> That's how I want my sandwich. <laughs> what would you like? A pastrami sandwich? Anything else? Yeah, a loaf of bread and some other people? <laughs> Hey, yo, I can feed everybody with this motherfucker. Next, man. Gotta love him. I order the club sandwich all the time, and I'm not even a member, man. I don't know how I get away with it. <laughs> I like my sandwiches with three pieces of bread. So do I. Well, let's form a club. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we need some more stipulations. Yes, we do. Instead of cutting cut the sandwich once, let's cut it again. <laughs> yeah, four triangles. Yeah, and in, in the middle we shall dump chips. <laughs> I'll ask you a question. How you feel about frilly toothpicks? I'm for them. <laughs> I'm for them? <laughs> hey, yo, man. You still great, man. <laughs> to this day, bro, you still great, man. Wow. Round of applause, man, to one of the one line of kings, man. God, man. Mitch Hedberg is making sure heaven is a funny place, man. I'm trying to tell you. Wow, <laughs> my hat goes off to you, bro, man. Salute. Big up to the family for suggesting this one, man. If you like this one and you want to see more like this, I actually have more Mitch on the channel. But thumb it up, pass it around, share it, and leave something in the bottom so I know what you want to see next time, man. I definitely enjoyed this one. I'm pretty sure you could tell because I kind of like disappeared and went somewhere else. Forgot you guys were watching with me, man. That's how it is when you're kicking it with family. Shh. Man, you all right. I don't care what your neighbors say about you. And he do be telling everything. But anyway, it is the worst part of the video. Part where I got to go to get some more. I got more subscriber content to get into. And you know I can't wait to check it out with my amazing family, man. Just look at yourself. Go look in the mirror and say, he talking about me. Yes, you. I love you guys and you girls. Be safe. And I'll see y'all soon.